Adjusted exponential smoothing forecasting. Um, this method adjusts for some kind of trend. If there is any trend in the data, then it will adjust for it. Um, it is an extension from that exponentially smoothing forecasting. In the previous video, we have seen how to find this number using the exponential uh, forecasting method. Check that video out to find this forecasting from the exponentially smoothing. Now, in this video, we'll find the trend factor and then add that with this forecast to find the adjusted exponentially smoothing forecasting. Now, let's assume that the trend factor is 30% or 0.3. So, the equation for trend for the next period is, the, um, is that um, this trend factor, I'm going to use that again and again. So, I'll freeze that cell um, times the uh, forecast using the exponential using method for this period minus the previous period. Close the parenthesis plus then 1 minus beta 1 minus this um, we will use again and again so I'll freeze that times the train for the previous period um, we don't have anything we can select that empty cell we can start with zero Excel will default use zero value if there is nothing in there like that um, so the adjusted exponentially smoothing forecasting then is the forecast from the exponentially smoothing plus the trend as you have seen before i have plotted in the previous video we can probably start with the same number and this can be zero um, as you have seen before there was not much um, trend in that data set so you will not see much difference in the forecasting there is not really much in this uh, values right here they're all kind of zero one um, so the the smoothing exponentially smoothing uh, forecasting uh, which is the orange line is almost lined up with the gray line which is the uh, adjusted exponentially smoothing because there was not much trend in there um, you can change this alpha value a little bit high to uh, make it different is still it's going to follow because there was not much significant trend in this data so they're kind of lined up uh, together if there is a trend then you would see they deviate a little bit um, from each other in some situation the adjusted exponentially smoothing make more sense than the regular exponentially smoothing